Since few days, I was looking for an MP3 player. Also, as a special feature, I wanted a digital display on it that will show all the navigations and controls. For that, I went to my Amazon account and searched for digital MP3 player with LCD displays. But after watching the result, I was quite upset. What? What the f Because the average cost of an MP3 player lies around 2000 rupees. As I have some budget issue right now, that's why rather than buying a new one, I decided to make it on my own. In this video, I have shown how I have made my own MP3 player using Arduino microcontroller. And along with this, I have described each and every steps very clearly so that you can replicate it. So without wasting any more time, let's start the project. If you are visiting my channel for the first time and you are interested in electronics, then you can subscribe my channel and turn on the bell notification. Let's see the components first. As the main microcontroller board in this MP3 player, I am using Arduino Nano. To decode the MP3 files from the SD card, I am using TF Player Mini module, which comes with some incredible features like its support. 32 GB of TF card. It also supports 32 GB of pen drive. It supports 100 folders and in each folder it can support 255 songs maximum. It comes with 30 level of volume control and with 6 equalizers. For displaying the navigations, I am using a tiny 1.3 inch OLED display. Remember that 0.96 inch OLED display and 1.3 inch OLED display may look similar but they come with different display libraries. For your information, 0.96 inch OLED display uses Adafruit SSD 1306 library where 1.3 inch OLED display uses SH1106 library. To solve the ambiguity about this library files as well as the display to choose, I am introduced here a new library called U8G2 library. The speciality of this U8G2 library is it supports any kinds of displays because it includes all types of display libraries. Here you can see it includes SSD1306 library as well as SH1106 library both. Hence, using this single library file, I can use any of these two types of displays. I am using a 1 kilo ohm quarter watt register a 3.7 volt 430mAh single cell LiPo battery, MT3608 boost converter, 3 push button micro switches. To charge the battery, I am using TP4056 Type-C charging module, a 0.28 inch digital voltmeter, a 0.5 watt speaker for testing purpose only, a SPDT slide switch to turn the main unit on. For the testing purpose only, on a breadboard, I have assembled the whole circuit. Don't worry, I will give the link in the description. It is the DF Player Mini module. Along with this, I am using a 16GB of TF card, where I will insert all the MP3 files. It is 1.3 inch OLED display. Here I have put the 3 navigation push button and also the 1 kilo ohm register and the Arduino Nano. Now it's programming time. But before programming the Arduino Nano, disconnect the VCC and ground pins of all the other components that is connected with Arduino. To program the Arduino, USB to mini USB cable is required. Insert the mini USB port to the Arduino. For the coding reference, I have put the zip file of the code in the description. Unzip that file first. You will see the folder like this. Open the folder. Go to the sound port folder. Inside the sound port folder, you will see four files that will be run directly in the Arduino IDE. If you don't have the Arduino IDE software, you can directly install it from Google Chrome. I'll put that link also in the description. Here, don't do anything with these files, even don't change the name as well as don't change the sequence. Open any of this file by double-clicking on it. You will be able to see that 
all the four files will be opened automatically. Here you can see the code for the MP3 player has been written. Even for the other folders also like input, audio and displays, the code have been written already. Now go to the tools. Select the board. Inside the Arduino AVR board, select the Arduino Nano. Now select the processor as Atmega 328P old bootloader. Now connect the USB port to your PC. And you will be able to see that your port option will be open, which was disabled previously. Inside this port, select the proper communication port. Now compile the code before uploading once. Just click on the right sign. If your compiling is done, then click on the upload button. During uploading, the power LED of the Arduino will be turned on, as well as the TX and RX LED will be blinking continuously. When your uploading will be done, then TX and RX LED will be turned off, as well as the done uploading message will be shown on the display. Now your programming work is done. Now remove the mini USB cable from the Arduino and reconnect the power lines. Now it's time for inserting some MP3 files in the SD card. Insert the SD card in the card reader and insert the card reader to the PC. For reference, I am using 9 non-copyright songs. But here you cannot insert directly the MP3 files to the SD card because the DF player comes with some limitations. That is, the MP3 files of the DF player should be renamed by the four digit serial numbers. Like, the first mp3 file will be renamed 0001, the second mp3 file will be renamed 0002, and so on. Now renaming these mp3 files like this is quite annoying. Don't worry, I have the solution for it. Just format your SD card in FAT32 format. After formatting, just go to the folder again. Inside the folder, just go to the folder DF Player Helper. Inside that folder, you will find there is a Python application named as DF Player underscore Helper. This is the application that will convert your all MP3 files sequentially with the serial numbers. Just run this application in the comment prompt. Here you can add as many folders as you want and as many files as you like. But unfortunately, I have the clone version of the DF Player and it doesn't support the folders. That's why I am using only one folder. Now just click on the import button. Your Windows Explorer will be opened. Now select your mp3 files and click on open. Now select the destination, which will be your SD card only. Now click on the move button. Then the files will start transfer. When the message will be shown transferred successfully, then your work is done. Just close the window now and go to your folder and you will be able to see all the mp3 files will be renamed sequentially. Remove the card reader from your PC, then remove the SD card. Now insert that SD card to the DF player mini module. Now connect the mini USB cable with the Arduino again. After connecting the cable, the OLED screen will boot up and it will start playing the audio files. Though the audio volume is very low, I think you can listen. Now let's see whether the navigation buttons are working or not. As everything is working fine, hence I can think about my PCB designing. For designing the PCB, I am using EasyEDA online tools. For that, just go to Google and type EasyEDA. Now click on the first link. Here, if you are using EasyEDA for the first time, then you have to create an account. Here, I have already my account and also I have designed the schematic previously. And this is the PCB, how it will look like. Now click on the icon Generate Garber File and click on for check the DRC errors. Here, if you have the DRC errors, then the view will not be generated. As I have no DRC errors, that's why I have generated my Gerber already. Then click on the Generate Gerber and your Gerber file will be downloaded. Here I have already provided you the link as well as the Gerber file. So that's why if you want to replicate it, you can. Now to order the custom design PCB, I went to Google again and type 
द लायन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स द लायन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इज एन इंडियन पीसीबी मैन्युफैक्चर जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द ऑफिशियल लिंक हेयर ऑल्सो इफ यू आर यूजिंग लायन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम यू हैव टू रजिस्टर इट एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी रजिस्टर्ड दैट्स वाई आई हैव क्लिक ऑन लॉग इन नाउ क्लिक ऑन द न्यू प्रोजेक्ट कीप द नंबर ऑफ लेयर्स टू एज इट इज गिव अ प्रोजेक्ट नेम देन क्लिक ऑन द ब्राउज आईकॉन आफ्टर क्लिकिंग ऑन द ब्राउज आईकॉन your windows explorer will open from there just select your garbar file that you have just downloaded from the ezda tool now click on the open icon then click on the submit now it will take some time depending the size of your garbar file after completion of the uploading your project will be created here you will be able to see there are multiple options for the delivery after scrolling down a little bit You will be able to see all the specifications. Now from the top banner, click on the PCB image. Here you will be able to see what will be your front side of your PCB and what will be the back side. Clicking on the viewer option, you will be able to see several layers of your PCB as well as all the minute details. Now click on the quotation tab again. After clicking on the order now, the service as well as all the cost parameters has been shown here. Now click on the proceed to payment. It will take some time for loading the gateway. Here you can payment directly using the QR code, but I am using my debit card for payment. For the primary verification, it will ask for the OTP that will be sent to your mobile number. Then after entering the final OTP, your payment will be done. Now click on the project details option from the payment confirmation page. Here you will be able to see the fabrication assembly as well as all the minor details about your PCB from the main home page you will be able to track your order for the safety purpose i have downloaded the invoice also now let's wait for the delivery a few days later i received the package and i was quite excited for opening it so i took a cutter and unboxed it soon and i was quite surprised after watching the pcb because the pcb quality was very good more than i expected each and every measurements were very accurate and that gives a good look for a professional grade pcb i selected one of these and also i disassembled everything from the bed board and collected all things together because it's the time for assembling all the components on the PCB finally but here i am using the female header pins for soldering the main components like arduino and df player so that in future whenever one of these components will be damaged i'll replace easily after assembling all the components along with the female header pins our PCB will look like this then after i attach the df player and the arduino nano to the pcb and i also attached the oled display by using the female header pin also along with this i attached the 3.7 volt battery 1 kilo ohm resistor digital voltmeter for battery monitoring and also the boost converter under the display three push button navigation switches 3.5 mm female audio jack and the type c charging module and finally the power switch For the casing purpose I will use the transparent acrylic sheets. I have cut the sheets according to my PCB measurement. It is the front side and the other is the back side. I drilled four holes on the acrylic for fixing it with nuts and bolt and three holes for the navigation buttons. After attaching the transparent acrylic cases or project look changes this to this. Our project is completed now but before using it I will highly recommend to do the full charge. For that, I have inserted a Type C cable to the charging port. A few moments later. Now it's time for testing this project. Zebronix for life. Bluetooth mode. Zeb Sound Feast 50 is now connected. Aux mode. Get 
The audio quality was very much satisfying. For getting the better experience, use the 3.5mm wired headphone. The equalizers were working truly with the wired headphones. And also with the continuous usage, I was getting around 3-4 to four hours of backup. Though you can increase the backup using the higher capacity lithium polymer battery. And it also supports fast charge that it can charge within the 40 minutes. But using the higher capacity battery, the charging time may increase. So that's it for now. See you on the next video. Until then, bye bye.